what you kind of see on that last play on, on the rest of uh, and just what you think of the call? Um, I didn't. I don't really know. Uh, I haven't even looked at it yet. Uh, but you know, the ref made the call. Ain't much I can do about that, to be honest. And I guess how tough was it to make that play in that moment? Uh, by which play? Uh, the follow rush. How tough is it to make the like? How tough is it just to have that play happen in that moment? Oh, I mean. For the people that know me, it's very tough because you know the last thing I want to do is uh, you know, make fail my teammates. Uh, so in the moment, you know that's what it felt like. Uh, you know, sending sending him to the free throw line like that. Uh, that's what it felt like. It just felt like failure in the moment. I'm saying, what were your, your thoughts on just the shots you guys got uh, in the final five minutes of regulation? And what did you think about the offense down the stretch there? Um. You know, I think uh, I think some of the shots we got were good. Others were could have been better. Uh, but I think um, a little bit uh, we were being a little too unselfish. Uh, there were some plays I think that some people could have just taken, uh, my, myself included. Uh, but I think we were just trying to make the right basketball play, and you know, instead of getting a great shot, I think we got a good shot. Um, but yeah, we'll just learn from it. Uh, you know, it's all in the game. Uh, you learn from games like this, uh, so you know you can be more prepared the next time. <clears throat> I know we've talked about Najee after some games lately, but uh, what did you think of just the way he contributed tonight? He was one thing that coach talked about was how he was on the floor for a long stretch of the second half, just because he was, you know, so valuable and important tonight. Um, Najee. Uh, I mean, you can't give him enough credit for what he does. Uh, you know, he played like a lot of minutes, but you know, he took on the responsibility uh, with guarding Bill or Westbrook. And you know, guarding those two guys isn't not easy. Uh, so if somebody ever said that's not the case at all. Because uh, you know, those two are always on the move with or without the ball. So you know, for Najee to take on that responsibility, uh, be committed like on um, for communication and going above and beyond, fighting over screens. Uh, I mean, it just shows the kind of person he is that, you know, he'll do anything he can to help the team win. Yeah, and Stan mentioned that he feels like, you know, you're able to dominate games physically, but he also thinks you're smart enough to, to, to you know, manipulate the game mentally uh, when that isn't working. And I guess, you know, what adjustments do you feel like you need to make it tonight to make it better for that? Uh, what adjustments that I needed to make? Uh, I, I, yeah, we talked a little bit after the game, and uh, you know there were, I think, two or three plays where, because of the situation of the game and how the game was going, uh, I maybe I should have did something differently. Uh, we definitely talked about that, uh, but uh, I mean, those situations. To be honest, my mindset is trying to help my team win, but you know, tonight. Uh, uh, they were able to block a few of my shots. Uh, I just got to be able to adjust to, on the fly to that. I can't keep doing the same thing. Sam, from a big picture perspective, does this loss hurt a little bit more knowing where the Pelicans are in the standings and you guys need you know, just a few more games to win than the guys right above you in the standings? Um, a little bit uh, because, you know, it's that time of the season, everybody's – trying to secure a playoff spot. So a little bit, but, you know, we can't dwell on this loss. Uh, like I said, we'll go watch film on it, learn from it, and, you know, be ready to play the next game. All right, thank you, Z. No problem. You guys have a good night.